<laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy. Do you know what? Two years ago, when I was sat in my little room, yeah, with just my bed, no TV, just me, and you came to me and you said, in two years' time, my friend, you're going to be in London, out of Manchester, and you're going to do your first solo show outside of Manchester. I would have laughed at you. I would have been like, ha, 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 ha. No, that, that's not how I laugh. But I would have laughed at you. And if you came to me in, in I don't know, in that pos when I was in that position and you said that to me, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I don't know. It, this is just the power of hip hop. It's moved to from it's moved me from such a place of being low, a place of not knowing myself, a place of not being able to voice the things that I'm passionate about. It, not even that. I didn't even know I, w I had things that I was passionate about. Do you know what? I'm gonna dance. <laughs> Check it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Will. that it's freestyle. I think you noticed that, innit? I think you know I was making, I was making that up, innit? I couldn't have planned that. Like, if I'd planned that, it probably would have been better, innit? But, <laughs> but that's the joy of it, that's the joy of dance for me, is that it comes from when that beat, when that song starts, that's when I'm like, boom, it comes alive. Now what's, Obviously, hip hop has got five elements in it. And one of them is dance, yeah? And we here are hip hop artists, innit? And hip hop lovers. And there's a lot of really good music that has been played throughout the day. And there's not a lot of times I've seen people nod. Please, can we do that? For the next, for the next coming up songs, when you hear a song, please. Please move and watch the difference. Watch how, how, how much better you feel. Because let's say, for example, she, she was speaking. She re, was speak, um, sorry, I can't say your name properly. <laughs> Shirai. <laughs> Shirai was, sick and was, was, rap, was rapping in this language that I could not even tell you one word, one word about it. But you know what? When she started, I could feel it in my soul. And I was like, and to be honest, throughout the day, I've held myself from dancing. Do you know what I mean? I've held myself from, from trying to break out. And I think that's what a lot of us have done. So please don't hold it in anymore. Let it out. Let it out. Now, I said, I said um, dance gave me a voice. Gave me kind of, it made me realize that the things that I went through, and my life has been a bit up and down a little bit too much. But you know what, throughout that, throughout the times that I've not had something to eat, I've ate hip hop, I've ate dance, I've ate lyrics. When I didn't have something to watch, my head, bro, <laughs> my head has got so much. Your head has got so much. And you know what, those are the things that kind of carried me forward. And then through that, people saw the passion that I, I, I had for my, for, for, for my dance, for my, for, my, um, for my acting, for my, for my spoken word. 
from my from my beats, just from just from me sitting down with my, with my friends at, at home, or pajamming. Do you know what I mean? And people saw that passion, and I think that passion is the reason I'm here here now today. And I think there's a lot of young people out there that have got the same passion. And you know what? It kind of scares me a little bit that I feel as though they might not have that voice in the future. And obviously it's because of the few things that have, that have happened, you know, the whole Brexit and, and, and stuff like that. And I, I don't know. I feel as though for those young people, I, I, in, 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 um, in September, sorry, I know I keep going um, back and forth, but there's a lot I want to say in a very short, short amount of time. In September, I went into, 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 I applied for, well, well I, I applied for uni and then I went into uni. September, I spent a month in uni, and then my student finance didn't come. Do you know what the reason was? The reason was because, although I have a status in the UK, to, to, to work in the UK, to, to, um, to kind of, to, to, to live in the UK and feel like I'm, I'm British too, I, I didn't have the, the paper to prove it because I moved away from my mom's. And for five months, I went with no food. They did not give me no money. They no, no one gave me money. I couldn't work as well because I had no paper. So when I did my TEDx at that time, I was still going through that, pro, through that thing. But I swear, that passion, that hunger, for me knowing that, you know what? In the, in the future, I know there's something there for me. And I think that's what kept me fighting. When, it, when I look back to the times, my, my best, what I, what I would think are my best lyrics were probably written in that time. Because hip hop gave me the, the power to, to carry on. Do, do you get what I mean? It gave me, it, it motivated me. And it gave, it, it gave me a voice. And I realized that what I was going through, someone else can learn from it. Do you know what I mean? I realized that I could, I could tell my story and, and someone else who's probably in the same position would, would take it and, and, and realize that, you know what, there's a, there's, there's a way forward. Can you do me a favor? Can you play the, I think it's the fourth track? Now, this, four, this, this track was, um, was made by my friend last week and I asked her to, to make this track um, in, in response to the whole Brexit, Bre Brexit thing. So I'm gonna do a little dance. I'm from uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa. I'm very much African. I love my Africa war. But, <laughs> but similarly, I feel as African as I do British. And I hope that I can, I can have a chance to express my art in Britain as I've been and as, as other people have bef before me, I hope it doesn't stop. Because, like someone said, the history that we're making now is gonna be told through arts, isn't it? That's what we're doing. Arts is, is a way that we can tell the future about the lives we, we lived. Now, sorry, in that, with that in mind, if, there's, if these politicians 
do not want art to go on. Who's going to tell their legacy? Do, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so as a South African and, Zim and Zimbabwean, like, I found that dance was also a way of me, obviously, communica communicating, telling stories, having fun. And I can, it's kind of an art form where your personality can come out. Can you play track three, please? Please dance. <laughs> Um, last year, in one of my journeys, well, in my, on my journey, it's kind of seeing how much potential I've got. Because I think, obviously, you need, you need that confidence as, a, as an artist, as a, especially as a hip hop artist. You need to be able to go into the battles and be confident. Because you can see through that, people, people buy it's one confident, you'll be like, eh, you know what I mean? But kind of one thing that boosted up my confidence was um, being in a show last year with Flex in Manchester. And um, they were hip, there were um, New York dancers that came over to, um, to England and joined 10 more dancers from, from Manchester. One of them was me. And... Um, they did this reggae slash kind of popping slash gliding slash they've got so many there's so many categories to um to flexing but it's based on it's, ba it's, ba it's based on hip hop and, and reggae which is another which is another thing that happens a lot in a in hip hop it's collab do you know what I mean like me then I was mixing my African with my little hip hop with my with my locking and waving and and um. One of the flexors came up to me and they were like, you know what, I think you should look into, into cramping. And um, so now, I think you're going to be my first audience to actually watch me proper cramp. <laughs> Something I've been working on. But I want to have that confidence to say, yeah, yeah, it's, what, it's, it's my new thing. So can you play track five for me? Why don't we cut you up into little pieces and feed you to your pooches? Hmm? And then we'll see how loyal a hungry dog really is.